the abdomen is divided into four quadrants the right upper quadrant right lower quadrant left upper quadrant and the left lower quadrant the liver is situated in the right upper quadrant if we ask ourselves how can the liver stay in this particular place in the right upper quadrant without moving to the right to the left to the upper side and to the lower side the answer is that there is some ropes some ligaments attach the right uh, the lever to the diaphragm and to the abdominal wall uh, making it stay in this place these ropes or these ligaments are peritoneal flexions peritoneal flexions we've mentioned in the last video that the liver is covered by a peritoneum visceral peritoneum the reflection of this peritoneum form the ligaments which attach the liver to the diaphragm and to the abdominal wall obligating it stay in a place so let's talk about these ligaments let's talk about these ligaments okay no okay I will use another graph here to show you these ligaments okay this graph show you that these are some peritoneal reflections attaching the liver to the diaphragm here this ligament attaches the liver to the diaphragm and this ligament attaches the liver to the diaphragm this ligament attaches the liver to the posterior abdominal wall or to the posterior aspect of the anterior abdominal wall okay let's show you one more graph showing how the liver okay this this is the diaphragm and these are the ligaments of the liver attaching it to the diaphragm and this ligament as we mentioned attach it to the uh, posterior aspect of the anterior abdominal okay now th let's talk about more details about these ligaments uh, what are these ligaments the first ligament we have is the left left triangular triangular her li ligament okay too slow left triangle ligament this left triangle ligament attach the liver to the left side of uh, the diaphragm or left lower hemisphere of the diaphragm this is the left triangle ligament as as we see here that the left triangle ligament as it walks medially in some point it divided into posterior and anterior divisions posterior and anterior divisions these posterior and anterior divisions allow the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava left lateral border this is the left lateral border of the inferior vena cava to be exposed which means it is not covered with anything okay this is the left lateral wall of the inferior vena cava is being exposed because of the dividing of the left triangular ligament to the anterior and posterior divisions okay this is about the left triangular ligament and this is the right triangular ligament which attached liver to the lower border or lower aspect of the right hemisphere of the our hemidiaphragm okay okay another major ligaments or structures is the falciform ligament falciform ligament falciform ligament 
before I talk about the fossil fall ligament I will talk about something else which is the umbilical vein umbilical vein in the fetal life there is a structure which is called the umbilical vein the fun this okay this is the umbilical vein okay the function of the umbilical vein is carrying the oxygenated blood from the placenta of the mother to the heart of the baby okay the umbilical vein structure function is to carry oxygenated blood from the placenta of the mother to the baby okay so the umbilical vein is exited through the fetal life I think I have another good picture here. this is the umbilical vein and another graph of the umbilical vein this is the umbilical vein and this is the right lobe of the liver okay within weeks of fetal development or birth of we the umbilical vein completely obliterated completely obliterated converting into a ligament a major ligament of the liver which is the falciform ligament of the liver so in the fetal life it is umbilical vein within few weeks of the birth of the baby it is the falciform ligament which is the obliterated form of the of the umbilical vein let's show you the falciform ligament of the liver okay this is the falciform ligament and another graph of the falciform ligament this is the oh, this is the falciform ligament of the liver the falciform ligament of the liver work as attachment of the liver to the posterior aspect of the anterior abdominal wall as I've mentioned before division of the superior okay this is the first form okay let's just erase some of the division of the superior part of the falciform ligament allows again the inferior vena cava to be exposed or in the other walls allow allows exposure of the superior sup, suprahepatic inferior vena cava and so uh, uh, is inferior vena cava without cover no it is covered with a sheath a thin sheath of fibrous tissue okay so I've talked about the left triangle ligament the right triangle ligament and the falciform ligament and I now now I will move to the last very important ligament which is the liver which or, or, which is the ligament links the liver to the lesser convention of the stomach this ligament is called the laser omentum the laser omentum this is the inferior border of the liver and the lesser convention of the stomach between them there is a ligament which is the laser omentum another photo graph as you want of the laser omentum laser omentum this laser omentum is often thin and fragile but contains the higher structure in its edge okay we in the next videos we'll talk about what we call the hilum of the liver the hilum of the liver contains some veins arteries and fatty tissues called the higher structures these higher structures is situated in the laser omentum so in few words the ligaments oh, ligaments ligaments 
of liver we've mentioned a lot of ligaments the first which uh, the definition of the ligament is the peritoneal reflection reflection the first one is the right triangular We've said that the right triangular ligament divided into the anterior and posterior walls, allowing the left border of the inferior vena cava or left lateral border of the inferior vena cava to be exposed. The second one is the left triangular ligament, left triangle ligament or coronary ligament. The third one is the falciform ligament, falciform ligament which is the remnant of the umbilical vein and the last one is the laser omentum omentum attaching the liver to the laser curvature of the stomach laser curvature of the stomach and contains the hyla structure of the liver though it is fragile and thin ligament